Hello, my name is Wolfgang. I'm the CEO of PPU and Clearfox and one of the senior engineers. Today I want to show you a project which is now very close before pickup. The client has approved the system by visiting our production and look on the technical devices. The system is for a worker camp and it's consisting out of four containers. Good. Here on the screen you see a typical simplified um, pumping and instrumentation, instrumentation diagram of the system. Uh, I want to show it how it works. The wastewater is entering a client's tank. It's a pumping station and with the two pumps it's pumped to an automatic screen. The solids from the screen are removed. They are falling into a waste basket via an endless liner to make it outdoor and the mechanical cleaned water is entering a buffer which is aerated by a fine membrane system and a blower. Furthermore is a, a level sensor installed in this buffer in order to have always uh, the exactly operation mode for example holiday, overload, underload etc. A feed pump takes the water and feeds a in the following a fixed bed reactor continuously uh, and equalized. The fixed bed reactor is um, aerated by a blower and also with a very fine bubbling aeration system. Then the water is biologically cleaned. The um, secondary sludge is entering a clarifier. In our case it's uh, equipped with lamella clarifier material uh, in order to settle the sludge in a funnel and then with a the secondary sludge pump it is pumped to a client's sludge storage. The clear water is passing the clarifier, going out and then it will pass several stages. In, in our case, you will see it later on, it is a sand filtration, a UV light and a disinfection uh, unit. Here in this uh, setting on the screen, you see the floor plan for the system how it is positioned with the containers on the client side. Um, we begin here. So we have the automatic screen. In our case, it is positioned on the roof of the container. The outlet goes into the buffer tanks. The buffer tanks are aerated and they are connected hydraulically. Here we have the feed pump and the level sensors. The feed pump, with the feed pump we enter the fixed bed reactor. We have different cascades. We have materials with 100 square meter per cubic, with 150 and with 200. So we have a long way through the system. Then afterwards we passing the system, go out of the container. Then we enter the clarifying unit, which is a lamella, as already mentioned. Afterwards the, clear, uh, the cleared water goes out in a client's tank, an underground tank. Then we come back to boost the pumps, um, feed a sand filtration and after the sand filtration uh, the filtrated water passes a UV unit in order to disinfect the water. You also see here the two blowers and the control unit. So the, if this system is delivered and is positioned like in this constellation, um, then you can imagine that the system is in a very short time ready for startup. So what is to do? The screen has to be lifted on the roof. All the installation materials are suitable for installing the system very fast. It's sitting on a frame. Next step connecting of the two buffers outside with flanges with a tube which is delivered from PPU. The same on the other side. Then we need a electrical connection and we need the liner for the client's tank and the soaking line back to the booster pump. At the end that was it. So uh, if the system is delivered the containers are positioned on a concrete foundation or maybe on stripes, very easy. 
then after one day the system can be filled and can be started up. We are here now in the production. You see the frame which is installed on the container and on the frame the screen unit is installed then on the frame. So uh, the wastewater is discharging directly into the um, buffer tank. We are here on the backside of the two buffer containers, which are hydraulically connected on site. Uh, this connection now is just a provisorium uh, to make the leakness test. But basically, uh, we come out with flanges and they have to be connected on site by the tube for the transport. We close this because it's a sea transport and um, to make it very easy on site just to remove the covers and then connect it. On the left side, close to me, you see the control unit, the control cabinet, uh, consisting all of the devices to control the system with a very simple control unit. This was client's demand because uh, we don't want it to make it very complicated. There is a small manual also with the part list and uh, with the wire diagram, also with a small menu guide, how to adjust, for example, the settings of the, of the parameters. Here close to me, the black tank, there is lamella clarifier material installed. Uh, you see it's a little bit loud because we test now the aeration system. This is the blower for the fixed bed reactors. Here's the blower for the buffer aeration in order to bring the solids a little bit in a movement, not to settle them. On the left side, the booster pumps. The back flushing unit, which is here, which is connected with the sand filter, but for the transport, we have to disconnect it now. And this blue vessel is the multi-stage sand and resist filtration. We are now on the roof of the fixed bed reactor. I just want to show you during the test run of the aeration system of the membranes, you see a very fine bubbling. Uh, the two openings for these two cascades, they are already prepared for the extensions which are sealed then and made weatherproof uh, on site. Thank you very much for listening to me. I hope it was a little bit helpful. We want to improve ourselves. So for this reason, uh, the YouTube channel we want to use as a tool for our partners and our clients to show them and give them technical information, for, for example, about installation, technical know-how, so we would be very pleased uh, if you could give us any feedback or maybe an idea about we could make a presentation um, to improve ourselves.